New at six when Pfizer and Moderna announced they were nearing the end of their vaccine trials for COVID-19. Some in the cancer research world were astounded. It wasn't just the speed, but the type of vaccine that was developed. Ursula Perry introduces us to a local cancer researcher who says this will likely impact cancer patients too. It's very encouraging. Instead of decades, it took merely months. And Dr. Amita Patnak says new data on effectiveness shows the Pfizer vaccine is outperforming even the flu shot we get every year. In order to garner FDA approval, the vaccine makers knew that they were aiming for an effectiveness of at least 50%. But to get a rate of 90 to 95%, I think really is unexpected. Adding to her optimism, though, has to do with how these new vaccines are made to work. They're called mRNA vaccines, and the Start Center for Cancer Care is right now drilling down on how they can be applied to faking out cancer cells, too. One of the hallmarks of cancer is the ability of cancers to evade the immune system and to essentially hijack the immune system. So by giving a vaccine, the hope is that we can get the immune system to recognize those parts of the cancer that may be able to elicit a response that can actually attack the cancer cells. Once the immune system gets tuned in where to fire up, T cells are set loose to attack the infection, the virus or the cancer, but to leave the healthy cells alone. If these two initial COVID-19 vaccines are approved by the FDA, they would be the first of their kind to get government approval. Dr. Packnick says this is a game changer for illnesses to come, changing how we do research and find cures for the future. Ursula Perry, KSAT 12 News.